Ooh. Who is that? What up, DJ? All right, y'all, like I said, right back at it again. Got to kick it off. Don't look at me learning about... Well, I was learning about juicing stuff for a while there. From the Life Regenerator, a classic man on YouTube. I love Dan McDonald, the Life Regenerator. I used to spend time being inspired by him and then not really doing what he said a lot. But I have gone juice fees before. But as you can see... June 24th, apparently it's St. John Baptiste Day. Let's have a look further into that. Does that mean anything? Uh, it's not a nationwide holiday, but it may be observed in my region. Uh, I'm gonna say that it's not relative to me, but okay. A little bit of a late one here today, 11.30 a.m. Now I've been laying in bed awake for about an hour and a half. But yeah, I'm just moving a bit slow. I want to get rid of some things here and then weigh in to get this next round started. And also I've got some things planned for today. But we're going to get a weigh in and get a snake juice going. And then I think tomorrow we're going to start juicing. We'll talk about that during snake juice. What up, y'all? Welcome to the hydration station, and apparently, weight fluctuation nation ain't that but about a bitch. This is when you guys get my prime voice when it's fresh out of bed. It's very like 92.3 FM, the golden hour of radio. Next up, we got John Cougar Mellencamp. <laughs> But yeah, this is when I'm real, 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 real nice. This is my Sam, or who, who is it? Sam Elliott? Four trucks, built tough. I never knew what kind of man I was until I gained weight over the course of three days back to almost my original state. But I will not let that define me. I will move forward and I will push on in this journey. <laughs> oh man. But for real though, um, it's time to restart. I just can't believe that after a couple days, and those days had activity like crazy. Like I walked on those days, I went motocross riding on those days. Like I had, but you know, I'm not back to original, but. Let's call it 224, um, and I would just say because I don't think I've gotten rid of everything that's been in there for the last, but like there's still some stuff in there. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say we're looking at more like a 223, 22 in reality if we were cleared out, but that sucks because we were down, I would say respectively to, two, to 218. 217 was like a lucky day. 218 was like where it was at. So... We're, we're in a few pounds, so it's a couple days, it's a few pounds. It'll be gone pretty quickly, but you guys know I gotta fix my eyes before I fix my snake water. You all know how this operates by now, but at this point I just wanted to make like a morning ceremony, a morning ritual with y'all. Maybe have a little ice ASMR. And, uh, you know, just a little conversation about whatever. Maybe about uh, the fact that I got up a little late today. And that's because you guys ever, like, go to bed at the right time with the right intentions to go to sleep. And then uh, I'm the type of person who's like, let me just, instead of, like, YouTube or whatever, let me just put on, a, like, an old movie or some sort of movie to settle in. Something that's not too interesting. But it will, it'll like, it's, it'll nestle me in. I just have to like, kind of get tired to it instead of clicking around and shit, right? Because the more I click around, the more interested I, in shit I get. So, um, I found myself watching uh, Meet Joe Black for the first time, which is like the most 
awkward, unnecessarily drawn out, like, drama, romance with uh, Brad Pitt in it, and it's just like, he's, he, he's death in the body of Brad Pitt. And he's there to take Anthony Hopkins and shit, and, and it just turns into a love story. It was three hours, next thing I know, it was like quite late, and then because I had committed to it, I'm like, I, I don't know, I just, it kind of had me more awake than tired, so I watched the movie Accepted <laughs> from like 2005, which is so jokes, such a good movie, like Justin Long and uh, Jonah Hill's like first, I feel like it's one of his first performances in comedy or whatever, like, so this is the magnesium pill for those who don't know, now you know, a baby, um, but yeah, I watched that and shit was hilarious, so I crushed that, and also it just was like, made me be like, why is every single like comedic uh american university movie like i swear you could just take every script from those movies and you could take every actor who plays in them the, the douchebag the fucking nerdy guy the ugly guy the fat guy this guy that guy the hot girl and you could just like take any movie that's ever been made like that and just basically switch out the cast and it's like the same <laughs> the same movie, like it's so, it's such a pre-written, like pre-scripted, like it just, they're all the fucking same, none, none of them are different, although this one is good because it's funnier than most, so yeah, I don't know, I'm sure most of you have seen, have seen Accepted, if you have not seen Accepted, please go watch Accepted, it is, it's good, I liked it, uh, and then that brought me into like, it was like three or four in the morning and I was like, oh man, why did I do this to myself? So I threw off my sleep a little bit, like I, but I got up at 10 today, so I didn't sleep more than seven hours. Like I slept like six or seven hours. So I made sure that I got up within a reasonable time frame so that I can get all this back on track. And then also I'm supposed to either go for a river, uh, go to the river with my sister and if not that, because it's really not that hot out apparently, uh, we were going to go if it was smoking, if not the river, or maybe go for a walk around this place called Boulevard. I don't know, maybe I'll just like bring and show clips of that or something along the way, just you know how I'm chopping in shit into these videos. And then also later tonight, uh, after dinner, I'm going dirt biking again with my dad at a new place that I've never been to, that's like some guy's new track that he built. And... Uh, I'd like to try and get some more footage of that, but I think it's gonna be more on board, like, like this point of view footage, cause I just don't think my sister's gonna be able to come like be my filmer and I have this one camera that I might be able to mount to my helmet and do like that style. So you can like almost be like riding the bike with me kind of thing. Um, that said though, today marks the first day of the rest of our lives here at college, <laughs> here at fasting college. I can't lie, it's a bit of a bummer to be back up. Those LBs, especially when like, you know, I went so hard for those days. I was on such a roll. I knew I was gonna get disrupted. And you know, I was down and I was just like, if I just kept on that path, I just, I had momentum building. I was getting to the point where like, I, I was like craving my daily walks and stuff. Like I wanted to go out and walk. And then it's crazy how like, just eating again and falling back into those like comforts and, those, and that life they like reset all those bad habits that you have of of just being like complacent and so now since since those days it's just been like i've been sore too and whatever but you know i'm gonna be active today but like i just those days i was waking up i was ready i wanted to go for my walk and now today i'm like if i'm thinking about going for a walk it's like i gotta get my head back to that space now just from a few days of like falling off the boat like so anyways we're still down weight from the original like I said, I'm going to round it down. I'm going to call it, if I had a good move, it would probably be more like 222. So I'm going to call it 222 roughly. And 
So from here, we're gonna get back to the true ass routine. We're getting deep in the fast. And like I said earlier this morning uh, on the computer there, I was searching up some juicing stuff. So I might switch from this for, for like a week or longer of just juices. So like I might just do like one or two, probably two juices a day and then just be active. So I'm still getting some like nutrients and things like that. Maybe a little some else some calories, but uh, I almost want to just cleanse out with the juices. I really want to do like a like a celery, cucumber, parsley, um, lemon, and ginger kind of thing, um, and then maybe mix up some other ones along the way. But I want to keep it pretty light in the sugars, so that's why I want to do a lot of greens. I just love celery, cucumber. The parsley is a nice herb to have in there and then the lemon is cleansing and the ginger as well as like healing cleansing so um i kind of that's gonna probably gonna be my juice and i want to do that like almost two times a day for probably a week and see where that leads us and just be on it hard when it comes to like getting out for a walk for like two hours walk every day as much as i can and then also just like daily like house activities and stuff. I just have stuff to do. And then also right now I'm breaking the rule, but I should be standing. I have a standing desk and I'm going to make it. So like when I'm doing beats and editing and everything, I'm standing. Like I just know sitting aloud. So I'm going to try to make it so my days are like I'm always up, moving, walking. Even if I'm not out for a walk, I'm not laying in bed. I'm not sitting down. So um, from here on, it gets legitimate, legitimate because... I got no more activities. Oh yes, hello. It is me, Luanjo, your friend. I just wanted to give you a reminder that before you go about your day, I make a your bed, bitch. Welcome to outside. Uh, it's nice out. It's pretty nice out. We got planes and shit. Well, I can hear them, but can't see them. Oh, there they are. I don't know. Uh, it's pretty warm out, uh, but my sister canceled on the whole river idea, so that's not going down. So I'm just catching a quick little vibe outside here, trying to get some fresh air. I feel like that's lately on this, like what I've been doing lately, just trying to make sure I get outside and just, even if it's just to smell the roses, you know what I mean? Just taking some natural air, some fresh air, just be, have my mind around nature, looking at nature, feeling nature, feeling the wind, becoming one with the earth. We are elements, wind, fire, earth, water, air, you know what I mean? So, but for real, it does feel good to just be outside, sit outside. It's good for that like chill energy, that detox energy, that non-screen energy, even though I'm looking at a phone right now, but this is just to tell you what's up and then I'll go back to chilling for a little bit here. But um, I've made a decision. I'm gonna do seven days of celery juice or some sort of juice. Maybe I'll switch it up a little bit from each day, but I'm gonna do seven days of juice. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna recount like to see how I feel. If I wanna keep it going, I might keep it moving. If not, I won't. But I feel like that's the move for me right now. I wanna do seven days of like vegetable juice, celery juice, whatever, it's like a celery parsley, like I said. So instead we're going to Walmart right now. I gotta get a few things and then I gotta get some celery, like a ton of celery and stuff. So before that, uh, I need to purge my fridge a little bit because I only have like a, I have like a personal style fridge, like a very kind of small one. And I just have the world's most condiments because you guys know why, saucy guy. So <laughs> my fridge is just jam packed full of like condiments and some other things, just some food items that were there from when I was eating for real. I gotta get rid of those and I gotta make some room in there. So I don't know, join me for a fridge purge maybe, if that's something you're interested in. Check out my sauce collection. Welcome to the purge. Like I said, so many freaking sauces and stuff. Same up here, same here, <laughs> same here. These ones all can stay because I can't really stash celery in there. But I feel like to set yourself up for success in these times, I want to have enough room to have a bunch of celery prepped. 
And I can't fit it all with all this, obviously. So some of the stuff's got to go, and some of the stuff's got to get. Like these, for example, I bought not too long before I started all this. I will gift these to my sister for her cakes, because that's not on the diet. So everything's good. Just got this room here. Preparation is key. I feel like if I didn't do this, if I didn't uh, go get the containers that I'm going to need, the celery, prep it, get it in here, it, it would be harder to do. So it's like you make the steps to prep for the thing. That way you're more committed in your mind. So I'm going to get the stuff. I'm prepping this area. It's good. And then this will serve me for the next few days uh, for these juices. Right. All right. All right. So I went on the mission. This is six heads, but I got three more as well. So I got nine heads of Celera. Got a couple bags of lemons too. As you guys can hear, the construction's going on outside. Sorry about that, but welcome to my daily life. Welcome to my daily life out on the range, the construction range. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Like I say, preparation is key. So celery, I got enough to last me. I want to get through, this should get me through about four days, I would hope. Celery is back on cheap now. It's not $5.50 anymore. It's not $2.20. So this wasn't too expensive. It was 20, like 22 bucks for nine heads. So it's pretty good. All right, finally, a little bit of peace and quiet. You shut it down. So. Celery loses its moisture pretty quick. That's what I'm saying. I wanted to prep these. I got these containers. I'm gonna, unfortunately, in normal circumstance, I would just like shove these in as such every day in the juicer, but I need to make them fit in here. So I'm gonna have to lose an inch or two on either side for it to fit. So yeah, we're just gonna prep these celeries to fit in these containers, touch them up with water, and then put them into our little fridge storage so that uh, I'm prepared to do this every day and stick to it. So this side is like the less nutrient side, so you might as well keep all that. So try to like measure out how much you're gonna need to fit and go from there. Probably like this much. Maybe I'll make a small juice with the remainders of this today. So, boom, all containered out for the next couple days. These ones, I'll just keep in the fridge because they won't go bad that quickly. So, in the next, like tomorrow, I'll start with these probably. Like, I'll probably have two heads tomorrow. So, keep these fresh. Got to add some water to them, of course. You already know what it is. Pop some tops on all these guys. That's already, that spells success. 